I also grew up in the Depression, and the thing that my husband and I talk about uh, often was you didn't have any money, you were poor, but everybody else was in the same boat, so you didn't realize you didn't have any money. <laughs> H. Joseph Hepford was born in 1924 in central Pennsylvania. He was the youngest of four brothers. He lived in Dauphin County, Pennsylvania for most of his uh, growing up years, but he spent some time in Millville, Pennsylvania, and I'm not sure which county that is in, but also in Lickdale, which is in Lebanon County. In October 1929, the stock market began suffering a series of sharp declines that eventually led to a severe depression. The causes behind the crash varied. One primary reason for the crash was the uneven distribution of wealth. Farmers had already experienced poor economic conditions for a number of years. Another was the decline of a foreign market for American goods caused by tariffs set by the mostly Republican government. As the crash became a full-blown depression, capital expansion decreased causing manufacturers to cut back on production. As a result, workers were laid off, thereby decreasing capital expansion even more and continuing the cycle. Many people were forced to move from town to town searching for work. H. Joseph's father was one of these people. Well, it was uh, very difficult. His father was a tenant farmer, which means he lived on a farm and farmed for another farmer or another owner and uh, often he would, the farmer that uh, was paying him probably couldn't afford to keep him on and then he would move to another farm until finally he lost his job. Constantly seeking work had its toll on the family. And when a job deal went bad for each Joseph's father, the family ended up renting a large room above a bank with only sheets to use as walls. However, they were still better off than some families. Many relatives moved in together to save rent in a practice known as doubling up. In urban areas, this presented a problem to health and sanitation. Also, some youth became nomads and railroad stations supported a vast increase in the number of vagrants. Still, life was tough for the Hepford family. Before the Rural Electrification Act began funding the electrification of Pennsylvania, the Hepfords lived without electricity. They lit their house using gas lamps and cooked using coal. Through these conditions, East Joseph attended school. Uh, for part of his life growing up was one-room schools. And uh, living at, or going to school in a one-room school meant eight grades in one room and one teacher. After moving to the Harrisburg area, he continued his education in the high school and engaged in many extracurricular activities. At the same time, he took whatever odd jobs he could get to earn money. Uh, oh, he tended to um, work for a man who had an ice cream bar, and, and uh, you know, like in the summer, he would work there taking care of, oh, I don't know how many kinds of ice cream. And he mowed grass, and he did that for a while. Then one summer, he was working, um, as cleaning the blood room in the Swift Slaughterhouse, which uh, was in Harrisburg. They were building the military depot in uh, New Cumberland, and he worked as a roofer there. And he, uh, he would mow grass, he would do whatever he could to earn money. As the Depression continued, new measures to combat the economic conditions were presented by President Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal programs. However, it wouldn't truly end until the Second World War prompted heavy increase in defensive manufacturing. By the time of the Pearl Harbor attacks, H. Joseph was finishing high school, and his brothers were at work on the Big Inch, laying pipes to funnel oil from Texas to New Jersey. Despite all that happened afterwards, the Great Depression remained a key part in the shaping of H. Joseph's life. Uh, it was a rough time, but it was a learning time, and you just took it as it came, you know, both my family and his. But he, he persevered and worked his way through college and law school, and became a first lieutenant and a pilot, and uh, 
who is flying, waiting in California to go to Japan or the South Pacific when the war ended, when they dropped the atomic bomb. And then he flew air shows and stayed active flying until, well, he, he kept his license and flew until he was 72 years old. <laughs> Loved it. <laughs> Despite or perhaps because of growing up in the Great Depression. H. Joseph became a successful lawyer and was elected to the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. He always said that his work experiences during the Depression helped him become successful in life. He died on March 22, 2010. He was 85 years old.